many times we want to access existing elements in a block table record and this is the way how things work in AutoCAD object RX. So this is how we access those elements. We have to iterate through a block table record and find elements by their object ID or their handle. So this is a simple code how to do that. So we first open the block name we want to or if we just press enter we will iterate the whole database then we will open the block table for reading and we have here an iterator so we can iterate through the block table records it's important to see how now here is how objects in AutoCAD get stored and accessed to open or close and close database objects we have to know the object's handle or object ID handle is stored in the DVG and objects in the DVG are identified by they, their handles. When we open the drawing, each object has a unique object ID, which persists through our current session. And we can find that ID and open or close, open and close our object as we need. There are three modes reading mode writing and notify mode and that would be it explaining now we will use our new command print all to see it in practice so we will now upload okay let's now print all enter so we have no blocks no nothing in the database. Let's now draw a simple line. Okay, so let's now print all. Enter. And here is our line. It has a, an object ID, a handle, and its class is ACDB line. It's a line. Okay, let's now put our block and let's see now what's happening. So now we have another, another object which is class ACDV block reference which, which is a block. Okay, let's now add a circle, maybe, circle, and let's see now. So we see we have a circle. Okay, now let's test our command just for practice. So a ABSK. You see, now we have our block here. Just our block here, we printed it. It's object ID and handle. This is the way to iterate through objects and find their object IDs and handles and later on maybe modify them or whatever we need to do.